It said that photographs never captured the true beauty of Ann Dallas Dudley. The scope of her charm and charisma somehow evaded the lens. But Ann Dudley's magnetism made her a driving force in the women's suffrage movement. Ann Dudley was born into privilege. She married well and had no real need to work, except her convictions wouldn't let her rest. She believed that women should have the right to vote, and she could afford to fight the fight. People who did not want the vote did not want women to have it. They were perfectly capable of firing a woman who was working, firing her husband, making her move from her rental property. It was a very bad, bad situation. But a woman who was wealthy and had an unassailable social position, she could afford to sail right over that because there was nothing that these people could do to her. Dudley put her art of persuasion to work. She became a state and national leader of the women's suffrage movement. She worked tirelessly, traveling, giving speeches and lobbying lawmakers. She won supporters one by one. Her son Guilford Dudley and his wife Jane are proud of their heritage. Primarily, she was simply articulate and beautiful and charming. And I suppose that's a hard combination for most people to resist. She knew what she was talking about. She was brilliant and persuasive. Ann Dudley, who had the full support of her husband, led Nashville's first suffragist parade to the state capitol. She had her children by her side. On August 18, 1920, the Tennessee General Assembly became the 36th state to give women the right to vote, the single state vote needed to ratify the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. After the victory, Ann Dudley went on to live a life of civic duty. She worked in politics, the war effort, and fought for historic preservation. She passed away at age 78. Ann Dudley is revered as the perfect picture of Southern charm and grace, a woman whose wealth was her ability to enlighten. <laughs>